<laughs> yeah, we take the points in this team, you know. Can't come that stuff with me. <laughs> I say, Cliff, thought you were an outside left. All right, my lad, all right. That's right, keep it clean. Percy! Thanks, Eddie. Don't forget, watch these boys for the first ten minutes. Cup semi final between Rovers and Wanderers. Place in the gold now. something too unbritted. Come along now, where's the thirsty Gibbs? I'm looking for some lucky lads. Come along now, come on you. Percy Gibbs. Percy Gibbs? <laughs> Never heard of him. You can't fool me. My brother used to play inside next to the one. What, not Joe Sullivan? Yes. Never heard of him. is my middle name. That's all right, old man. I didn't hurt you. Best of green, dark 
give me the sick. What about Tommy Honor, Eddie Hall, and Billy Webb? All on them Eckney men. And all on them gold medalers. Can I have half a pint of bitter, please? Now, I've made a study of darts all my life. And I've seen the cream of the darting world. Can I have half a pint? And you can take it from me that I've never seen a man throw a prettier dart in all my pup. Can I have half a pint of bitter, please? Sorry, Bert, old man. I didn't mean to be offensive. Never mind about meaning to be offensive. You was. Hawkins. And the one thing I can't stand is ignorance. And another thing. Have you ever been to Beachy Head? No, you haven't. I think I'll have another one, please. And you sit there and argue the toss and shout the odds with me, and you've never even been there. And you have the source to talk to me about acne. Beth nor Greenby. Me, what's acne, bred and born? Eightpence. So you can't pay, can't you? Governor, the bloke you can't pay, what shall I do? Fetch a cop? Or shall I bounce him? And for bounce him? Well, but what's bounce him? It's all right. I'll pay for him. Well, you're a pearl, you are. Aye. Good old pal, jolly old pal. <laughs> Friend in need is a friend indeed. A friend in need is a friend indeed. A friend in need. <laughs> How much was that? Five and six. Why, well, I had a couple of half pints. Yes, but your friend indeed had four double scotches and a packet of crisps. Five and six? Oh. <laughs> Blimey, I've lost my wallet. So you can't pay either. I thought you was blinking generous. What about your watch? I haven't got a watch. What have you got? Well, I... But don't tell me you ain't got nothing. No. I ain't got nothing. Well, you better ring up your friends and relations. I haven't got any friends and relations. I haven't even got a home. What, no home? No. I only came back from France this morning. I've been out of England a year. Why? All I got's on me. Hi, hi. Yeah. Ah. So that's where the money goes. And very nice, too. What's this? It's a French lottery ticket. And the winner gets a million francs. Forty quid. Forty quid. More like twelve thousand. Twelve thousand, eh? Yes, the exchange do offer about, I admit. Now listen. I paid twenty francs for that ticket. That's five and sixpence in English money, and just enough to pay my bill. Fetch a cop. Wait a minute. You call yourself a hackney man. You're no hackney man. What did you say? You take a look at the number on this ticket. One eight oh five two nine. Well, what about it? One eight oh five. 1805. That's the date of the famous Battle of Trafalgar, the greatest victory ever won on water. And who won it? Well, who won it? Admiral Lord Nelson. A hackney man. A hackney man, eh? What did I tell you? Hackney man, bred and born. Here. What about the 29? What? 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 what what about the 29? 29? Grown, you ought to be ashamed of yourself. I am ashamed of myself, but what about the 29? 29. 29 is the combined ages of Freeman, Hardy and Willie. What are you talking about? 29? Ah, subtracted from the ages of Watney, Coombe and Reed. Wait a minute. I must work this out. All right. All right. He can go. Well, if that's all, uh, I... Better take the charmer with you. The, the mademoiselle from Armand Tears. Oh, that? That's a woman, that was. Yes, it was. And if it hadn't been for a woman, I wouldn't be broke now. Woman's a snake in the grass, a fly in the ointment, and a pain in the neck. And I wouldn't be surprised if it wasn't the woman who pinched your wallet. I believe you're right. It was. It was not. It was. It was not. It was. It was. 
Not. Oh, did, did I hurt you? Yes. Thank you very much. Oh, I'm so glad. But, uh, but what made you think it was me? Because you're a woman. But couldn't a man have stolen it? No. Why not? Because women are a snake in the ointment, a fly in the grass, a pain in the neck, a pain... I... What? Huh. Women! That's the stuff to give them. Oh. You, uh, you, you don't like women? No, I do not. I hate the sight of them. You... hate the sight of them? Yes. I hate the sight of them. What are you laughing at? I think I can guess. Think you can guess what? Gave you the chuck, didn't she? No, she did not. All right. I understand. Thank you. Very nice, very nice. Mm. Don't you want to be photographed with me? Oh, makes no difference to me. Of course, I know you hate women. Well, as long as that's understood, that's all right. Mm, but uh, a little closer together, please. Uh, romance the keynote. Mm. A little closer together still. Now, uh, now look in the lady's eyes. Mm. The blue of heaven, you know, the, the old blue of heaven. Ah, romance the keynote. Hmm. Yeah, it, it. Uh, Sylvie, Sylvie. There. Now. Sylvie. Oh, shh, shh, shh. Ready? Mm. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much. Thank you, excellent, excellent. How oh, you do hate women. Oh, you aren't a woman. You're only an inside left. Or rather, the sister of one. Does that make so much difference? It makes all the difference in the world. Women! I'm fly now. Come along, the lucky lad. Come along now. Who wants to be a Percy Gibb? Come along, the lucky lad. Only a penny a kick and a beautiful packet of facts. Don't let me catch you slipping away again, my girl. When was the Battle of Trafalgar? Search me. I don't know. When was the Battle of... Why don't you go? Oh, oh, oh. Mr. Trafalgar, second public house on the left. Now, Mr. Brown, I've got to put you onto a good thing. Mr. Brown, I see things. Fancy. You've heard of mediums, haven't you? Uh -huh. Well, I am what they call physical. You mean psychic. No, I don't. I mean what I say. Physical. I beg your pardon. Granted. Anyway, you like a bit of a gamble, don't you? That's right. Well, with this ticket, you can win a fortune of 12,000 pounds for the paltry sum of five and six. Come along, boys. Try your luck. Who wants to beat old Percy Gibbs his own get dinner? No, sir? Here you are, Winnie. Right. Here's your photo. Oh, thank you. It's nice, isn't it? Well, it's... Uh... Just a minute. I thank you. Look. Yes, very nice. 
But how'd you like to have a Rolls Royce like that? And diamond bracelets right up your arms. Don't answer. Have a look at this. The owner of the winning ticket in the great French lottery, number 180529, has failed to appear. If he doesn't make his claim in person by 5 p.m. tomorrow, the money will be confiscated. Not you! Yes, me! But I sold the ticket to the man who has the pub round the corner, and I've got to get five and sixpence to get it back before he sees the morning papers. And you, and you haven't got it? No! So I thought if you... Well, if you wouldn't mind... Don't forget, Rolls Royce, diamond bracelets, Oh, thank you. You're a sport. So long. I see it written in letters of fire. Twelve thousand pounds. Well, what you can see written in letters of fire is good enough for me. I'll have it. How much? Five and six. All right, you can pay when you go. I once knew a family, a very happy family, for two years. They'd lived together in a state of complete bliss. Eh? They'd lived in a state of complete... Uh, bliss. Until one day, ruin, stark desolation and ruin stalked amongst them. Eh, what a shame. Thank you, sir. Excuse me, sir. But haven't I met you before somewhere? Well, you must have a double. Thanks very much, I don't mind if I do. Two doubles, miss. Two doubles with you, sir? Well, listen. I'll tell you the story. Eh? Not you! Uh, well, cheerio. Cheerio. The father bought a ticket in a French lottery. A ticket in a French lottery? We. Oui. French for yes. Well, what... What happened? What happened? The curse of gambling entered his soul. He threw up his job and went to the dog. But the greyhounds are the dirty dogs. Both. He sank lower and lower and lower. And then he went to all the dogs. No more doubles, Miss please. And what followed? I'll tell you what followed. His wife left him. Oh, well, he had one bit to look anyway. No. She came back. Oh. Yes. Yes. But what about the poor little innocent children? Well, what about the poor little children? Well, the eldest was run over by a tram while rushing to buy his father the result of the 2.30. The second, the second, a bright little chap, died of nicotine poisoning. And the third, flicked her finger with a rusty pin while picking out winners. And the fourth, and the fifth... What happened to the canary? Oh, the fourth and the fifth. Yeah. Here, I thought you said they'd only been married two years. Oh, yes, but they were a very devoted couple. And were they all? All ruined by this one ticket? Ruined. Eh? Uh, ruined! Ruined? Ah, uh, ruined. Still, one eight oh. Five, two, nine. It's a, it's a lovely number. A lovely number. <laughs> I suppose you're a Yorkshireman. No, I'm not. I, I come from Bolton. Bolton? Bolton, eh? Well, have a look at the number on this ticket. 1805. 1805. That was the date of the disastrous Battle of Trafalgar. The death of that great hero, Admiral Lord Nelson. A Bolton man. That's right. He's quite right. Yeah. He was a Bolton lad. Poor old Nelson. <laughs> I, I watched him play for the Wanderers many a time. That's all right, old man. I can see him now, poor Nelson. Only one leg. There he was, dribbling the ball all down the field, right past Napoleon. That's all right, old man. And Wellington is. Stump. Well, no, sir. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> Bolt and Randy one. That's right. <laughs> I say, Mr. Brown, will you be wanting that ticket? Well, no. <laughs> yes. Eighteen hundred and five. Here. What about this twenty-nine? Twenty-nine. Oh, that's dreadful. That's horrible. Yeah, you're right. It is horrible. Eh? It was on the 29th of July, 1929. I married my dear wife. And she's 29. And do you still want that ticket? Do I act as like ticket, lad? There you are. Five and six. Thank you, sir. Let me see. You and Mr. Brown had uh, four double whiskeys, a beer, and a cigar. That'll be five and four. Hello, where's Brown? He's gone. This gentleman's paid for the drink. Hmm. But he hasn't paid for the ticket, eh? Well, you seem pretty flush. Why don't you buy it back? Tuppence change, thank you. <laughs> but my wages, Mr. Green. You won't get a penny out of me. But, Mr. Green, please, I, I daren't go back. I owe five weeks' rent and I said... That's I... your lookout. Think yourself lucky I don't call the police. What's that? I've got the sack. Got the sack? What for? You know that five and sixpence I gave you? Yeah? Well, I took it from the till. Yes, but you... Oh, we'll soon see about that. No. If you'd only get into a run, it wouldn't do me any good. Anyway, it doesn't matter as long as you've got the ticket. Come here. Look. Twelve thousand pounds, staring us in the face. And all we want is five and six. We? Well, what of it? A measly five and six. Cool, we can get it in an hour. Yes, in half an hour. Five minutes, easy. <laughs> now. Yeah, how? Now, wait a minute. Let me think. Five and six. Five and six. You thought of anything? Well, I, I've got a brother in Canada who always... Oh, blimey, that's a help. Five minutes. Oh. I've got it. What? Wait. I've got it. Shh. Now, mine's no good. Mine's no good either. Twelve thousand pounds. A kingdom. For five and six. Eh? Yes. If only we could will it to come to us. What do you mean? Well, if you... If you want anything badly enough, and you will it to come to you... No, you... things go wrong for me. Tell me, when I look up, it rains. Yes, but, but let's try. It must come. It will come. Here, take my hand. Close your eyes. Think. I am thinking. Think hard. I am thinking hard. Concentrate. Yeah? Well, are you ready? Yeah. Come on, then. Dark your eyes and win for happiness any little from If you're wise and don't ask very much, surely it will come to you. It may be wrong, the corner waiting here for them. It may be close beside you, it may be anywhere. There's very little in it, just enough to make a start. So concentrate on minutes and wish with all your heart. And close your eyes and wish for happiness. Maybe it will come. Five and six. <laughs> what is five and six, anyway? 
60 ridiculous pennies. Two half-crown lunches and a tanner for the waiter. Five and six. <laughs> Needn't pay for a toilet like you. Five and six. The first instalment on a thousand pounds worth of furniture. You can get shingled for that. Well, Rummy, you can get married for that. your eyes and wish for happiness any little crumb will do that's for both of you what the why not Everyone has lots of happiness, we are going to have some too. We've tried a little rumble, lost a lot of fun. The one who always rumbles never sees the sun. So if you want good fortune, don't sit alone and sigh. Just say you're going to have it, for no reason why. So open your eyes and shout for happiness, happiness will come to you. <laughs> One of them, I know them all backwards. Please come. That's it. Oh, what's the matter? That, that, that's the matter. Put your pocket, he's gone in there. What? Don't you understand? Go on. What? Right. Well, I'm afraid. Let's see, let's see what we've got. Fourpence. Here. Can't you let us in? Oh, come on. There's a bloke there pinched my money. Oh, you must. What? I don't want to tell it to the Marines. Oh, you won't let us in. What are we going to do now? I don't know. I'm now going to show you the kennel. You might perhaps like to compare yours and France with ours. I think you'll find they compare very favorably. Excuse me, I, I'll show you the way. Pardon, n'est-ce pas, monsieur La politesse, n'est-ce pas Je vous en prie. Le manche. I'm late, I've got no money. What do you want, Mr. Come along, come along, the old firm. How Jacobs, the fun we know. All right, put it down a cap. You don't want a ticket. Lord Nielsen. How much is the rear? Well, look at it, there's a tenner. A tenner? Well, I know. Lord Nelson is 200 pound a ten. Put it down to one, two, one. Hey, huh? What about this? Hey? Percy Gibbs, look. All right, don't get nasty. Don't get nasty, that's a good one here. Winnie, fetch a copper. Half a mo, half a mo, listen to reason. You have me arrested now and you'll never get your money. What do you mean? I've put it all on number five, Lord Nelson. Lord Nelson? Lord Nelson, eh? All right, old boy, you no need to worry. Why, it's a dead cert. I wouldn't put my money on a... I wouldn't put any money on a dog that hadn't got a chance. Look, Percy, there they are. Look. Yeah, there you are. There's the boy that's going to bring you back your money. Number five, Lord Nelson. That's the one, a big tall one over there, see? Oh, see that one? Uh, I don't, I don't. 
Yes. It is better, too. Oh, it's all right, old boy. I, I wouldn't do the dirty on you. Oh, yeah? Look here. You hold the ticket. Now, when they win, you can go and get the money yourself. There's the bookmaker. You see? I trust you. Nelson, 210 quid. 210 quid, Lord Nelson. On this? What do you pick it up? What's the matter? Is it the wrong ticket? Wrong ticket, wrong dog, wrong race, wrong everything. <laughs> hey, what? Sorry, old man. Sorry! <laughs> right. I mean, gone. It's like looking for a needle in a haystack in this mob. Well, that's done it. Hmm. The landlord will get it now. Yes. And his wife will get those two Rolls Royces. How do you know he's got a wife? Oh, they've always got a wife. She'll get those diamond bracelets, too. <laughs> right up to there. What again? Look, Percy, look. Money lent. Yes, and fairies at the bottom of my garden. Oh, come on, Percy. Let's try. All right, come on. McDonald. That's a good start. It's not even open. Well, Percy, we, we, we must do something. Perhaps we live here. Let's ask that old man. Come on. Please, could, could, you, could you tell us where we can find Mr. McDonald? I am Mr. McDonald. Well, why not? I'm a naturalized Scotsman. Oh. Oh, I'm a Scotsman too. But you're Scotch. Oh, naturalized. I used to play for Chelsea. So, how about lending me five and six? What do you got for security? Oh, I thought you didn't need any. <laughs> Can't you take a joke? Now listen, as one naturalized Scotsman to another, I lend you sixpence on this coat. And that's my maximum minimum. No, that's no good. I've got to get five and six. I'm sorry. B. McDonald's. Never do business after 10 o'clock. Without security.
our children. You must need money pretty badly. Yes, we do. Couldn't you give us that five and six? I'm a pawnbroker, not a charitable institution. You must give me some security. Yes, but I haven't got a thing. Yes, you have. What do you mean? No, 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 don't be hasty, my boy. I'm old enough to be her godfather. Yes, but I... Now, listen. You can't leave that little girl out all night. My wife and my children, they've gone away for a holiday. But it's all right. Leave the little one with me. I'll loan you five and sixpence. Then you can come around in the morning and redeem her. All right. Now, that's a sensible boy. Now, you go around to the front door, and I'll go in and let you in. Would you mind very much if I pawned you? Just as you say, Percy. Oh, here's the ticket. <laughs> Poor little thing. She looks awfully cheap at five and six. Couldn't you make it ten, Bob? If you brought me Gloria Gabo, I might perhaps make it a quid. But for a skinny, little, stuck-sized girl like this, the best I can do is five and sixpence. All right. Well, give me the goods. I'll be back in a minute. Percy. Hello. Where's he gone? Perhaps but he's going to bring me the money. Then I'll go and get the ticket. Then we'll be all right. Percy, you... You, you won't forget to come back for me, will you? I wonder. Hold your heart. must be off. Pleasant dreams, Winnie. Don't forget. Rolls Royces. Diamond bracelets right up your arm. And a wonderful girl in the cup final. Yes, who get it? Search me. Percy Gibbs. <laughs> the woman hater. Fine fairy is here with presents for you both. For you, young man, it's five and sixpence. And for the little one, my dear wife's nightgown when she was a little girl, like you. Here, you are, little one. It's a fine piece of goods. Oh, very nice. Yeah, nearly silk. Here's the money, young man. Thank you, Mr. MacDonald. Well, I think I'll be going. Well, good night, little one. I hope you have it a good sleep. Good night, Mr. MacDonald. Come on, young man. I'll show you the way out. Good night, Winnie. Good night, Percy. Oh, Percy. Oh. Oh, nothing. Now, don't you worry. Remember. Good night.
Five after nine, twenty-five to ten, quarter to ten, quarter after three. I think it's half past nine. Half past nine? Something must have happened to him. To him? Something's happened to me. He pawns me something for five and sixpence and I got the feed yet. There must be some mistake. Yeah, there is a mistake. I made it. Mr. McDonald, you must give me five and six. Me? Say, hey, listen. If you wasn't so pretty, and I wasn't such a gentleman, I'd give you a right away, I'll push in the face here. Oh, get away from me. You, you must give you it to me, me you must, something's happened. Suppose he hasn't got the ticket. What ticket? Well, why the ticket in the French lottery, the winning ticket? It's worth 12,000 pounds, you must. Stop! My wife, Flora McDonald. Yes. And if she finds you here, there won't be no more Bonnie Prince Charlie. I'll go. It will give me five and six. Don't make me unhappy. Five and six. Get out of here. I'll slip out through the window. I'll meet you around the corner in five minutes with the money. Promise? Do you want it in the writing when there's a war on? Come on, come on. Yeah, come on, wake up, young fellow, my lad. You can't sleep here all day. What's the time? Just on 10 o'clock. Hello? What do you want now? Oh, I just popped in to wish you good morning. Pop in later and kiss me good night. Boy, nothing in the paper this morning. No? There may be nothing in your paper. But that's not to say there's nothing in mine. Nothing important, I mean. Nothing important, eh? All right. What about this? Actually, birth rate going up. Mayor expresses satisfaction. A mere beggar till, I suppose. Oh, very nice, but... One moment, if you don't mind. Acne smash and grab raid. Police making inquiries. See, stop press. What are you doing of? What I meant to say was... You remember that five and sixpence? What about it? Well, uh, uh, I came to pay you back. What, again? What do you mean, again? Well, you sent round just now and fetched your blooming ticket. Who sent round? Well, they said they'd come from you. They? Who's they? A man and a girl. A girl? Yeah. The charmer that works across the road in the fun fair. Mr. McDonald, you sure you've got the ticket? The ticket? The ticket? Oi. Uh, wouldn't it be better if I kept it? It's all right. I won't run away. Look. Oh, Mr. McDonald, I didn't mean that. It's all right. I like it. The motto of us McDonald's is never trust nobody. Yes. There's half for you and half for me. Safety first. I wish we could have found Percy. Little one. Listen, we gotta be in Paris at the lottery by five o'clock. Then we come back, 
still look for Percy in his spani or squeeze <laughs> Now, we just got time for us to get some new fancy clothes. I'm going to treat you. <laughs> Bill, I wish we could have found Percy. I hope my wife don't find us. I can't see Mr. McDonald. Well, I must see him. But you can't. He's gone to Paddy's own business. Gone to Pat. Did he take the girl with him? Girl? What girl? Well, the girl that slept here last night. Slept here last night? Where did she sleep? Or in there. In my room? Oh, God. Come on. Now, what I say is, never run after a bus or a woman. There'll be another one along in a minute. Now, look here. You don't really think she meant to do me down? I don't think, my boy. I know. And I thought she was different. Mr. McDonald, it's, it's lovely. <laughs> so? Give a look at me. Oh. Ain't I a regular Jim Dandy? You know, it's a tight fit. If I sneeze, I'll be undressed. No, Bill, madam. Mr. McDonald, 15 pounds. Well, I care. When I start, I commence. What's 15 pounds? What's 15 pounds? I wish you wouldn't remind me. <laughs> but really, Mr. McDonald, you can't understand. Besides, I'm going to get 6,000 pounds. 50%. 50%. Now, you give me 50% and I'll find the dough for the journey. You're a sport. That's all right. Now, we want grub? Yeah. Booze? Yeah. Doesn't forget the booze. And glad eggs for you and me. Oh, gay party. That's right. Top heads in all manner. Yeah, now, wait a minute. They go by train. We've got to get there first, meet them at the station, and get the ticket off. Well, how are we going to do that? We'll have to go by air to your plane. <laughs> There'll be another one along in about a quarter of an hour. That's just right. This time for a tiddly. Come on. Open your eyes and shout for happiness. Nothing less than that. Everyone has lots of happiness. We are going to have some too. We try the the one who's always humble never sees the sun. So if you want good fortune, don't sit at home and cry. Just say you're going to have it, or know the reason why. Open your eyes and shout for happiness. Happiness, happiness will come to you. <laughs> Grumble lost another pound. The one who's always humble eats a current pound. So if you want spawn doolicks, don't sit there at home and sigh. Just ask for them with knobs on. Oh, now the reason. Shut your eyes and wish for happiness. Happiness will come to you! Well, let's ask someone then. We better have a glass on. Glass on! Now, now you, you leave, leave this to me. Who will a boat train arrive? From Pompa. Who will a boat train? Where will a boat train arrive? Ah, monsieur, je ne comprends pas l'anglais. Il y a un interprète quelque part qui peut vous aider, peut-être. Docteur, docteur! Ah, c'est. Douglas! Douglas! Oi! My wife! Ah, si! 
you at the lottery. One of them femmes de chambre. Pretty girl, too. Get up in here, Nackney. Look, there he is. There he is. Look. See the winning BA. BA? French for ticket. Mademoiselle must stay here. Monsieur. Le Gagneur.
Messieurs, j'ai l'honneur de vous annoncer en officiel. Aïe, 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 aïe. Keep it clean. Gentlemen, I have the honor to declare the first meeting open of those who have suffered in this lottery. And I propose to elect as our president the unfortunate owner of the winning ticket. Messieurs, encore une fois, j'ai la Wait a minute, Bluebeard. Monsieur. What about my money? Your money is with the founder of the lottery. Monsieur Santim. And where is Monsieur Santim? On his way. On his way here? On his way to South America? What, with my money? With all our money. With all our money. We are the lucky prize winner. Now, what about me? Aren't I a lucky prize winner? Look here, I've been a working man all my life. I've got my old bundle on this suite. And don't forget, it's not for myself I was thinking. No, don't you believe it. I'll tell you what I was thinking of. I'll show you. <laughs> Look at this poor kid. She's come all the way to Paris with me. What for? To get the money for this ticket. And what did I promise her when we had got the money? Two Rolls Royces, diamond bracelets right up to there. This lovely girl. <laughs> Shut up. Hold this. But did I keep my promise to this beautiful creature? No. Why not? I'll tell you why not. Because I never got the money. And this. And this poor girl. She's got to do without her Rolls Royces and her diamond bracelets right up her arms. And what am I going to do? I tell you what you can do. What? You can play football again. Oh, don't be silly. I haven't kicked a ball for two years. Oh, don't talk such rubbish. Of course you can. I can't. I tell you, you can. I tell you, I can't. You can. I can't. Can. I cannot. Oh. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 